Hello everyone, this is Lisa from Grateful Me, and today I'm excited to share with you some of my goals for 2021. Each year, um, before I sit down and write my goals, I always think of a word, and this word is kind of my theme for my whole entire year. Um, all my goals are centered around this word, and this year, my word is capable. Now, capable is a fabulous word. You know, we're all capable of creating our best life. We're all capable of achieving things, discovering new things, living and experiencing, tasting and receiving, you name it. We are capable of all the things that our hearts desire. So this year, I have different areas of focus, and all those goals in each area will be connected to the word capable. So I purchased this book on Amazon. Actually, it's my book that I uh, sell on Amazon. And this notebook, I'm going to break down into different categories and use it for my goal setting. So my first category I'm going to be making is preparedness. Now, if last, if 2020 taught us anything, it is the need to be a little bit prepared. So I have lots of goals under that, and I'll go back and, and tell you what those are. I also have a tab for 52 books that I want to read this year. I have a tab for savings, one for health one for Amazon, and one for YouTube. Now, um, section number one, preparedness. Each year, I mean, each month, I'm going to be um, focusing on an area of preparedness, and we're going to have a little family council and class about it. And instead of giving my kids a whole bunch of Christmas gifts in December of 2021, each month they will receive a gift that's associated with our preparedness class. So our very first preparedness class, we are going to do, um, talk about first aid and, um, basic, uh, CPR, wound care, Heimlich, and, you know, just some basic first aid skills. We also, um, my kids will get their first aid kits, and also a medical book. I chose the ACEP first aid manual where they can learn how to um, deal with different emergencies. So that's just for the month of January. Mm -hmm. In February, we have something else planned. Um, and I'll go ahead and make some videos about that so that you guys can see and follow along with what we're doing. In our family, we are really lucky to have a nurse and she will be teaching us our little family mini classes and try to educate us on, first of all, our first aid kit and how to use it and then what to do in case of emergencies. So this is just an example of my preparedness um, section and the goals that we will be working on. So as a family, we are very capable to learn how to do these different things. Now look at this darling planner. My mom gave me this for Christmas. And the thing that I love about it is the thought that's on it. The thought is, never forget how wildly, wildly capable you are. And there's my word. So when you start thinking of your word and it starts popping up in your life, you know it's you're on the right track and that's what you should do. So this darling organizer will be for me to put all of my daily activities and to be able to organize my life to make sure that I'm staying on task, that I'm accomplishing my goals. Um, I'm going to keep track of where I'm at and, you know, see how I'm doing from month to month. So I will also be doing a lot of update videos and be, I will be using this planner and showing you my success. Now with every cute planner, you have to have cute stickers. So these are my cute stickers that I will be using. They are from a recollection, uh, collection from 
Michaels and the florals in them just fit me, fit this planner. And yeah, they're just so me. So just, just a little fun little thing about what I will be using to decorate my planner and to keep me focused. Another notebook I will be using is my Hear Him journal. This is a journal I have on Amazon as well. This journal means so much to me. It is my prayer and scripture journal. Inside, there are spaces dedicated each day to write the things I'm grateful for, people I'm praying for, what I'm asking for, and how the Lord blessed me in my day. And then there's another page that's dedicated to my scripture study. Um, I write down, the, you know, what I've been studying and the personal revelation or the feelings and thoughts I received while studying. And then my action plan of how I'm going to apply what I learned and the personal response and communication I have with the Lord, how I'm going to make that an action plan and what I'm going to do to incorporate it in my life. This book, um, talk about being capable. It really, um, spiritually has helped me to see how I'm capable of hard things, how I'm capable of a great relationship with my heavenly father and with my savior. And this book will be perfect throughout this year. I wanted to show you the back cover here. It's, um, orchids and hummingbirds and I mean, I'm Hawaiian, orchid, tropical. It's just perfect. So uh, here's another book that I will be using. This is my walking challenge. This is available on Amazon. This book is to help me with my health journey. Um, last year, I turned 50. I had a fabulous year. However, I ran into some health issues. And so I'm really going to take the time to... Uh, build a better, stronger, healthier body. And this is something I'm very, very capable of. Um, and as I do this, I want to kind of see how far I've come and to track my journey. So in this book, there is a tracker. Um, it's set up to walk a hundred miles every month and there's four months worth of the walking challenge. I will be marking off all the miles that I walk and keep you posted. Not only will I be doing walking this year, but under my health tab in my notebook, I will be writing down all the exercise classes, all the healthy recipes that I come across, just all the different ways in which I am capable of creating a healthier, stronger um, body. And so I will also do little updates on how that is going. Um, getting back to my notebook, my second tab was 52 books. Now, this idea is that I'm capable of reading 52 books. So one book a week throughout the year. Um, in 2020, I did a lot of binge TV watching and I thought that I could probably put my uh, time to better use. So I am going to challenge myself to read 52 books. I started with a book list. Um, I will do a little video in the future showing you what my list is, what my wish list is. And then I will go ahead and share with you when I have read a book, whether I liked it, my favorite quote in that book. And just a little, you know, some, just some details about each book that I read. The next tab is my savings tab. Now this is my favorite part. I am doing this year the hundred envelope challenge. I will show you, um, what that is in a future video. Basically uh, it's a hundred, you get a hundred envelopes and you write the number one to hundred on it. And every week you pick two envelopes and then whatever number you pick out of the pile of the hundred envelopes, let's say it's number 13 and number 65. You would then put $13 in the 13 envelope and you'd put $65 in the 65, I mean in the number 65 envelope. 
and you will do this throughout the year. Now for me, I am hoping to speed through this way before the year end happens. So basically anytime I have extra money in my budget or if I receive money for a gift or I have money floating around, I'm going to try to deposit that money into an envelope and I'm going to try to complete that before, like I said, way before the year ends. Um, the amount that you save is $5,050 if you do this. So I am so excited for this. I actually have some Christmas money that I got. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Another thing I'm working on in my savings area is paying off my mortgage. And each month I do extra principal payments and I'll be tracking that as well. So those are just some of the goals that I, um, are, I am making in that area. Now, health, we already talked about that with the walking challenge book. Um, in the notebook, though, I will be, like I said, putting recipes, healthy recipes. I will be writing down different forms of exercise classes that I'll be taking. And then um, my last two tabs are Amazon and YouTube. So my Amazon tab is about all my journals that I sell on Amazon. My goal is to create 24 new journals this year and to have them uploaded and to run a couple specials and see how that works. I love owls and so one of my journals will definitely be a barn owl. So you'll have to look for that. And then the last thing is my little YouTube channel. I have a little YouTube channel that came about because of COVID. I wasn't able to see my grandkids and I wanted to stay connected. So I started reading them stories. So I have a playlist on my channel that's Read to Me Grandma. And I share with them my love for books and get to spend time with them that way. I also make videos about my everyday life and things that I am trying to achieve and accomplish. So I hope you like my goal setting. I will keep you updated about, you know, on my progress throughout the year. And I hope the year 2021 is a fabulous one for everyone. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be capable of many wonderful and fabulous things. And as always, I wish you a wonderful day and please be grateful. Bye until next time.